Hey everyone, this is Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be putting together the Horticulture Lighting Group 260 watt DIY LED grow light. The HLG 260 watt DIY kit comes with everything you need except for the tools to build a high quality, efficient, passively cooled LED grow light. The least that you'll need to put this together is a small screwdriver and wire strippers. The fixture is designed to flower up to a 2x4 area or 3x3 area, or veg a larger area around 3x6 feet or 4x4 feet. It's equivalent to about a 500 watt HID grow light. Two of these kits can be used to flower a 4x4 space or veg a 6x6 space. This light is available in 3000K or 4000K. Today I'm putting together the 4000K kit, which is recommended for veg, but can be used for flower as well. The kit comes with two QB288 quantum boards with LM561C S6 top bin diodes. I'm currently using the QB304s for this build. Also this kit comes with one Slate 2 pre-drilled 600mm heatsink, one Meanwell HLG 240H dimmable LED driver, it's dimmable from about 135 watts to 285 watts, one 6 foot NEMA 515 power cord, two feet of solid core wire, five Wago connectors, one waterproof cable connector, hardware, and two sets of hanger clips. If you need something a little more powerful, consider the HLG 320 watt kit, which contains three quantum boards lined up in a row. This fixture can be used to flower a 2.5 foot by 5 foot area. Two of the 320 watt kits will flower a 5 by 5 area. And if you need something a little less powerful for veg or clones, consider the $99 HLG 65 kit, which will clone or veg a 2 by 2 area. And by the way, there's a one year warranty on these DIY kits. But if you want lights that are already put together and don't mind paying a little bit more for the three year warranty, consider the HLG 550 or HLG 300. These are Horticulture Lighting Group's flagship lights. Links are in the description for all of these lights. Because I've been talking over some of this video, I just want to catch you up on what I've done so far. So on the other side, you might have noticed that I screwed in the quantum boards to the heat sink. I flipped it over, screwed in the driver to the heat sink, and now I'm connecting the input side of the driver to the power cord using the Wago connectors. Another option is to use that waterproof connector, which is that elongated um, black tube looking thing near the top of the screen. However, I'm not gonna use that. I just connected the Wago connectors to the DC side of the driver. Now I'm going to flip this over and use a solid core wire to wire the DC side of the driver to the quantum boards. Now I'm just going to speed through the video here because what I'm doing is trimming up the wire to the correct length. Once the wires are cut to the correct length, I'm going to use this red wire and connect it to the brown wire and connect that to the positive side. And then the blue wire with the black wire and the black side into the negative side. Now I'm gonna cut one more piece to fit between the positive and negative on the bottom of the board. So once all this is hooked up, the boards are gonna be wired in series. There we go, nice and tight. So the board is almost complete. The last thing I'm gonna do is zip tie these cords together to make sure they don't end up everywhere. Let's trim it up. And last but not least, I'm gonna install the hangers on the sides. So here's a set of hangers on the left side and another set of hangers on the right side. Lift it up and it balances pretty well. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's turn this on. All right, looking really good. So after a few minutes, you may notice that the back of the heat sink is gonna start to get a little bit warm. So the job of the heat sink is to draw heat off of the diodes to extend diode lifetime and to maintain that high efficiency that these diodes already clock in at. Just gonna move the light up and down so you can see the footprint. 
Um, unfortunately, I can't back up the camera here and show you the true footprint of it, but I could definitely see how this would flower a 2x4 quite well. The price on the 260 watt kit is only 324 US dollars with free shipping in the USA, and we can ship to other countries via quote only. If you need more in-depth instructions on how to put one of these kits together, please check out LED Gardener's HLG Quantum Board Kit Review Part 1 Assembly. And give this video a thumbs up and comment to let us know what you think about this light. And if you want more content like this, subscribe here for updates. Later guys, 